am New York. I got the meanest streets, the hardest concrete. Right here, in my heart, you and destiny are gonna meet. How can you rise up where others have fallen? When they say I never sleep, this is what they're talking about. Lighting it up when the pressure's on. Starting fast, finishing strong. And this night will belong to the team like me that rises above the rest. Be like me, stand tall. It took overtime to do it. Be like me, full of life. Fourth win in as many nights. I am New York, and this is the Big East Championship. This is indeed the Big East Championship, and there is a buzz surrounding tonight's title game as the UConn faithful look for their Huskies to cap an unprecedented run with a record-tying seventh conference crown. They went over Pittsburgh and required eight stitches. Big matchup, Lamb on Knowles. And Siva. Walker, Walker on Siva, quick on quick. Walker passes it off to Jeremy Lamb, and the Huskies have the first bucket of the night. He said after their game last night, their second in as many days, his team was exhausted. He said he was the worst he's been in quite a while. Physical fatigue. You can relate to yeah, that. Well, working with you, we're both tired of him. Walker, Shed Curick with the fake. Kemp. Charles Aquandu's checked in. Number 35 for UConn. Tough shot. And the banker good for Jeremy Lamb. Daniel Amist. Roscoe Smith, the offensive rebound. The Lamb is smooth. I mean, he just, he could have shot that. Settled it. Made a good pass. Nice cross. And the bucket for Kemba Walker. Out, and they did. And both teams are landing some early punches tonight. Nice. Booms McDaniel and the follow by Charles Aquandu. Sure to force a high arc on that three by Mara. Where the floor is springy tonight. These kids are getting up. Good. Walker splits the defense. Defensive end, the defensive end, and an attitude. Mm -hmm. An attitude probably was the most important for Valley during the whole course of the evening. Walker, the pull up. He's out. He's out. Defensive rebounds available for Louisville. Louisville's one out of nine so far from three. Lamb a three. Wow. Another Tucky picked it up. They've scored nine straight points. Donnell Beverly in a senior. The movement of Connecticut's offense has been very good. They've gotten the ball up court quickly and sure handed with the ball. Yaki a nice spin and he made it. Went around George Good, who's come off the loop. First field goal in well over four minutes for Louisville. Yeah, they've not had any trouble with the full court pressure. Wow. Smith, that's a long two. I know he can make it. Was down by nine with about seven minutes to go in that game. Came back and won in stores. Smith missed. Oriaki there to follow. Played a lot of confidence. Siva with Walker right on his hip. Look at this anticipation. Steal by Walker. And the dunk. Wow. He owns New York. He's been in transition, and then this steal just taking it right away from a very good point guard, Peyton Siva. Mm -hmm. He foot fakes. Sean McDonald. Maybe only Kemba Walker approaches your popularity here in New York City. <laughs> Because he tips. Kemba does. That's what it says. Yes. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant me. No, we both do that. <laughs> Coombs McDaniel off the side of the backboard, but 11 games, he's averaged over 16 points per game, has been their leading scorer during that stretch, and he's added six rebounds a game during that time. He's missed inside. Rick Patino's put him back in the game with two fouls. No, not covering that corner at all. What an easy look. That's 12 when he went out. Donnell Beverly, seniors played in 103 games. He's experienced. Of course, the Kemba Walker went out of the game. He was terrific in those first 12 minutes.
38-32, UConn at the half. Reese, Hubert, and Digger with the Cisco. I think you, when Walker went to sit out, that changed the tempo of the game. See if they get regenerated. Boy, he turned it into a very tough shot and hustled to get it back. Off for Oriangi for the dunk. This distance. Walker playing with two fouls. Jennings has two. Siva two. For Louisville. Elisha Justice pestered by Napier who poked it away. Shabazz Napier and the dunk by Lamb after Curic defended the original shot. Timeout Louisville. Effect, but terrific hands, position to defeat. And how about this rearrangement, Jay? That's why you're running. Two for Jim Calhoun. A little rest now. Walk around the sideline. A little fatigued. He was actually talking to Eddie Corbett, the official. Rested out top. They would bring Lamb into the middle again. He was very successful there against the Syracuse zone. Napier for three. The most 1,000 point career scores in the history of the program. Walker. Blocking foul call on G. That was tough. After missing. Rick Patino was just telling the officials, Kemba Walker is not Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Napier for three. Good rebound by Roscoe Smith. And he's fouled in the act of shooting by Kyle Curick. Big Gary McGee, the required eight stitches. Started last night, but played only five minutes. Really hadn't fully recovered. You need a rear view mirror with him as well as Seba. Napier, wow. wow. Had to shoot it and then the foul on Curic. Rather close to say the least. Well, you wonder he did something to re aggravate it because of guts. He's all over the lamb. Probably their third best ball handler on the court with Walker and Beverly. Lamb spins away. Curic called for. His progress has been extraordinary, this guy. George Blaney talking about his ability to make tough shots. The floor. Nice. Lamb. Kemba hasn't had a field goal since eight and change left in the first half. He has scored from the line. A steal by Donnell Beverly and a foul. On a reach in against Siva. Fatigue if you have it. Beverly. 27th free throw of the year in their 35th game. But he makes both. Senior from out. Oriaki crashed the boards, got the ball. Smith pestered by Siva, who just came back in. Land. Tip in by Oriaki. Tenacity getting through traffic. He finishes in terrific fashion. Well, it goes from grimacing to explosive move. Foul. But he sold it too to the official. A little bit like Siva. We grimace every once in a while over here. <laughs> at the tattoo parlor in Johnston, Rhode Island, after we mentioned it the other night. I thought you were looking for a freebie. I was. Maybe not trading off as well. Under five minutes to go now. Walker count it. Walker, and he's able to finish the play through the foul. That was his first field goal. Holding up underneath the screen of five games in five days and the fifth against one of the peskiest defensive teams in the country. I have and a, one of the best. I'm sorry, Sean. I have a bulletin. Kemp is tired. Look at Bristol over here. Napier dished it underneath. Took the floor, was telling Mike Roberts, the official in front of us, to watch for Walker clearing out with the free arm. Coombs McDaniel plays it in to Napier. Walker, Oriaki, and Lamb. About 15 seconds difference between the game and shot clocks. Going with a horn set. Walker into the traffic. Dumps it off for Lamb. You come. Usually like the down screen for him, or he back screens and pops. Here comes Knowles. He's down on the ground as he gets the ball, and they don't have a timeout if they get stuck. That's deflected out of bounds with 23 seconds to go. The shot clock is off. They're very fortunate. What a play by Knowles. Falling down, still able to come up with the ball. Mara to play it in. It's oh. deflected. It was deflected by Lamb and picked up by Napier now. Walker, they need a foul, and Knowles does. Still plenty of time if you're Louisville. 
The inability to cleanly inbound the ball, passing and catching. And perhaps something we haven't talked enough about tonight, the outstanding defense that UConn has played, the deflection by Jeremy Lamb. Long arm, active, making it difficult to get it in. Two free throws for Walker. Well, he makes the second, it'll be interesting. We asked Jim Calhoun before the game, are you a believer in fouling with a three-point lead in the final seconds? He said, no, I've never done it. I think too many bad things can happen. You put losing into the equation if you do it. Timeout, Jim Calhoun with that three-point lead. Six line. Jerk Seva, Mara Jennings, and Knowles needing a three to tie. The later it goes, they're going to have to take the three. Ten seconds to go. Knowles, no! Tipped out to Mara. Five seconds. He's fouled while shooting a three by Walker. Nine to go. 79%. For the year, swish on the first one. He doesn't get there much. That's just the 29th free throw he has shot all year long. He's a more or less a perimeter player. Two more to come. He needs both. Mm. Now do you have to miss? Got to miss. Got to miss. Now they got to go big inside. They don't have a timeout here to discuss it. Kurek and Jennings have to get inside now. Jennings was back at half court. Mike Mara, sophomore from Smithfield, Rhode Island. I would put Kurek in. Yeah, switch it. Well, they're going to go with Knowles inside. Maybe so they want to miss. They need possession, and now they can put it just straight back up because the two would tie. He made it. One point game still. Now they need a steal or a very quick foul. Roscoe Smith, they don't have a timeout to get it in. Smith gets it in an eighth here. Fouled by Mara with 3.3 to go. You think he meant to miss that? It looked I like it was a little left. I think he, he was shooting to miss it. He does not look happy about that going in. Yeah, I, I didn't think so. He's just shaking his head back here. Probably thinking, why didn't I try to miss the second one then if it worked so well? Wow. Well, there's still time, mm -hmm. especially just, with the speed guys they have. You're right, Sean. Seba, you know, can explode up the floor. Connecticut, a very good free throw shooting team, 75%. They've made their last nine tonight, despite all the fatigue. And Napier is 76% for the year. First free throw of the night for the freshman. This is the one now that's very important for UConn. It obviously changes the strategy for Louisville. And good for Napier because he shot only one free throw last night late in the game at a key spot and he missed it. I wonder if that had to be in the back of his mind here. And so nobody up. I think they've got to come up a little bit. UConn give them the opportunity to speed dribble. Three-point game, a three to tie and force overtime again. Peyton Siva off for no. Connecticut has won the Big East Championship. time again when they needed him and they got a great look in the final 3.3 gentlemen Louisville is never out of it the way they play 
can't beat it. Speed dribble and that corkscrew by Knowles. So often he's been able to convert and make big shots. Not this time, but you kind of Walker and company victorious. How about that? The Yukon Huskies have had a remarkable season. Kemba hugging his mother Andrea. You think back to the fact they were picked to finish 10th in the Big East in the preseason coaches poll. And they set the tone early, won the Maui Classic against a great field. And thanks largely to that young man, they have surpassed all expectations. And plenty of off the court distractions as well in the Yukon basketball program. UConn the champs, their first title since 2004. Here's Doris. Coach, congratulations. To win your fifth game in five days, you had to go through a Louisville team that brings a tremendous amount of intensity. Usually their pressure has a cumulative effect. How on earth did your guys pull this off? Well, they're absolutely amazing. Five games, five days, five wins against great teams, including Louisville, certainly. And, you know, we just had different kids stand up and, you know, Roscoe today, big night for him and Alex. And, uh, you know, and we needed defensive stops. We tried to use everybody on the bench we possibly could to get some rest. And since 1999, we're special. Our first one, this is the right there with it. Because I'll tell you what, it's been a fight over the last six, seven years to get them back to this tournament. We've been other places. But to win this thing is absolutely so special. I, I'm so proud of them. Coach, for certain stretches of this season, it almost seemed like you felt like you had to defend Kemba as a National Player of the Year candidate. I know you've been asked over and over again, but can you describe, comparatively speaking, and you've had some great ones in your program, the year this young man has had? Well, it's a special year for a single player that Kemba's had as any player I've probably ever had. And his, his, just his dedication to us winning. Tonight's a sacrifice layoff for, for the big, big win. I mean, absolutely special. We know they double team him, and we slid a guy in the baseline, and he just, and he found him. He found him. Coach, you talked earlier in the year that this year was a difficult one with the distractions of the NCAA, and you didn't want this to hurt, and your young guys came through for you. Can you describe how proud you are under the circumstances of this year of this particular championship, which ties you for Georgetown for all time wins in a Big East tournament? Well, not for a lot of people might feel it's a, not as good a season I would have liked. I'm talking about all the other things, but all the other things were nothing. These guys, my sons, they made the season so special to me, and I'm so emotional about it. You, you can't believe how I feel inside right now. Coach, congratulations. Thank you, Doris. Kemba, your coach just described your coach just described the, the pass you delivered late in the basketball game to Jeremy Lamb. Our announced crew has talked about the faith you put in your teammates around you. Can you describe that last play and what you knew was coming with the defense for Louisville? Well, no, it was, it was, I knew it was going to be the biggest play of the game. Um, you know, I knew they was aggressive on me, and you know, I was able to get by one guy, and you know, one of the big guys stepped up, and Jeremy was there, and he, was, he put it up, and, and I was able to give him the ball, and you know, he made the big basket for us. Our guys talked tonight about the level of intensity. Every basketball was loose. You could had to scrap and hold on for dear life. Can you describe how hard it was to win the fifth game against a team like Louisville? It was extremely hard. You know, it being our fifth game and you know the way Louisville plays. You know, they they want they want us to get tired and you know, I think they did a great job at it. But you know, we stayed mentally tough. We stayed together and we was able to pull this W out. Can you describe the run you've had here over these five days in your hometown? What it's like on the world's most famous arena stage to perform the way you did? Well, you know, I was just motivated. You know, you know we came off, you know, some bad loss in the regular season, and, you know, we were doubted coming into, the, in, into, into this tournament, and, you know, it was just motivated to me and my teammates, and, you know, they said we couldn't do it, but we did it. Could you go again tomorrow? If I, if I had to, yes. I believe it, Sean. Back to you. Yeah, I think we all believe it, too. He is the winner of the Dave Gavitt Trophy as the most outstanding player of this Big East Championship. The rest of the all-tournament team, Jeremy Lamb, who was huge in all five games, Preston Knowles and Peyton Siva of Louisville, Notre Dame Scott Martin and Rick Jackson of Syracuse. I think Alex Oriaki easily could have been on that team as well. He averaged a double-double for the tournament. Another memorable final at this Big East Championship. Connecticut, the winners. Both teams on to the NCAA tournament, 69-66 the final. Sports Center coming up next for exclusive coverage of the Big East Championship Trophy presentation. Go to ESPN3.com. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.
For Jay Bill and Doris, our great crew, Sean McDonough, congratulations to UConn, the 2011 Big East champions. They are the last men standing. Now for the national debut of Nick Lachey's Big East anthem.